Right, so the FIFA 20 beta has been released, but there's another thing which grants you early access to FIFA. So the FIFA 20 beta is a closed beta which you get an email for. You can't show any of the gameplay packs or anything. You can't post anything on social media about it. However, about, I think it's a week before the full FIFA 20 comes out, EA Access grants you 10 hours of playing the game about a week early. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what to do in your 10 hours, what to spend your time on and what not to spend your time on because you can easily waste lots of hours just doing stuff you can do on the web app. So I'm going to go through the things you want to do with your 10 hours and things you don't want to do. Okay, so we're going to start with the things which you don't want to do on your 10 hours because you can either do it on your web app or it's a waste of time. So the first one is to open packs. Now, you may be tempted to open packs, one, because the animation is better on the game than the web app. However, you only have 10 hours across, I think it's about 7 days. Uh, so, you know, opening packs, you can easily burn an hour or two, depending if you put like 12k FIFA points on. If it's the occasional pack, let's say you've got a 25k pack from playing the draft, it's only going to take two minutes to open. Feel free to open it. However, if you are putting 12, 24k FIFA points on, I recommend not opening on the actual game, but on the web app just to make sure you've got more time to actually play the game in your EA Access. Okay, so the next thing not to do is to trade on the market. Uh, basically, during the first week or two of when the web app, web app is released and the EA Access, a lot of people like to trade on the market. The market, players like Lukaku, Ronaldo, basically high tier players, upwards of like 87, 86 rated. Uh, the only these cards will start quite low because no one's got the coins to buy them. So let's say you, somehow you pack Ronaldo, don't sell him straight away because he'll go for like here. But if you wait like a few weeks when people have coins, it'll go up there. Especially with division rivals and foot champions, also you get a lot of coins from them. You also get packs. A lot of people after the first you know three four weeks have a lot more coins. So Ronaldo's price will start like here, and then after a few weeks it will go up massively so as well don't trade in the market on the uh, console in your 10 hours do it on your web app but as well if you do pack someone good from opening packs also don't take the time to sell them on your 10 hours and i wouldn't recommend selling any top tier players in the first week okay so that one i kind of got a size fact in talking about not to sell your players early on uh but yeah the point for that one is not to sell your players early on but as well only to trade on the web app because when you do trade you spend a lot of time sniping and you know you've only got 10 hours to use uh, but anyway, the next one is to do with making teams. So if you're going to make a new team, uh, buy the players, put them into different, like, put them into a team. Recommend doing all that on the web app, again, to save you some time. Okay, so the final one is completing SBCs. Now, I believe the advanced SBCs literally come out at the start of the game. So you've got hybrid nations, league of nations hybrid, and hybrid leagues. Now, last year in FIFA 19, hybrid leagues was the best one, then hybrid leagues, uh, then league of nations hybrid. Uh, I recommend if you're going to do them, they're going to be quite high at the start because there's not going to be a lot of players on the market. But if you are doing ASBCs, whether it's the uh, advanced ones, whether it's some ones that just come out, I recommend doing them on the web app to save you some time. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the three main things you want to spend your 10 hours on. So the first one is to play squad battles. Now squad battles obviously has a cycle of one week. Uh, I believe rewards come out on Monday mornings, like, or Sunday's night, so the rewards are between Sunday and Monday, so depending on when the beta comes out, top 100, now if you're actually good at the game, top 100 in the first week is going to be a lot easier to get, because not everyone's got access to the 10 hours, to get the 10 hours access you have to pay £4 uh, to buy EA access, mm -hmm. and not everyone's going to have that. So that means if you're good at squad battles, you could easily, well not easily, but you have a higher chance of getting top 100 in that 10 hours, uh, rather than, let's say, the, the first few weeks of FIFA when the full game comes out. Now obviously, if you are going to try and go for top 100 in squad battles, you've got to remember, there's going to be, a le there's going to be less people going for top 100 as well, because you've only got 10 hours. A lot of people are going to play division rivals, but if you invest most of your time in squad battles, you're going to have a good chance of getting that top 100 or even getting to that elite, uh, that elite band. 
Okay, so number two is to play division rivals. This is pretty much an easy way to get coins and packs. Now, division rivals, obviously in FIFA 19, it goes on basically the people playing. So obviously in that first EA access 10 hours, there's not gonna be a ton of people playing. And if they are, to get rank one is going to be a lower amount of points, presumably, than the first few weeks because you've got a limited, limited amount of time to play. Division Rivals is literally a game mode you can play how how many games you want and obviously the more games you play the more points you get which means you get a higher rank and get better rewards. So in those 10 hours to get the top rank the points will be much lower than the first two weeks. Uh, so again I pretty much pick either squad battles or division rivals and just grind one of those to get to either elite in squad battles or top 100 or in division rivals go for like rank one okay so the final thing which i recommend you doing is to use coin boost now if you go on to the ea catalog as long as it's still a thing in fifa 20 you can buy coin boost obviously on the 10 hours you're gonna be playing lots of games so i recommend using the thousand coin the thousand coin boost because if people do list high tier players like Lukaku, like I said, uh, Dries Mertens, Leroy Sane, Sadio Mane, people, good players upwards of like an 86 rating. If you have coins from playing games from the coin boost, you can buy them for a low price and within a couple of re weeks even, they're going to rise massively.